very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. I congratulate my right honourable friend on both his statement and the white paper. It addresses the challenges of enabling those of all ages to obtain the skills that would enable them to realise their ambitions and to fulfil their potential. As he's indicated, to ensure its success, there is a need for colleges such as East Coast College to receive an enhanced, simplified and multi-year funding settlement. And I'd be most grateful if he can do all he can to ensure that this is what is provided in the forthcoming March budget. The Chief State. Uh, well, my honourable friend is right to uh, highlight the great work that East Coast College does, and uh, it's a brilliant example of how it has such a positive impact in terms of its uh, local community and serving it. Uh, we, we won't be in a position to have a, uh, you know, we, it'll be up to a comprehensive spending review in order to set any multi-year settlements, uh, sadly uh, not the budget, but uh, we will be already, we'll be working in terms of a simplification of budgets and allocation of monies, uh, which I think will benefit and help many colleges uh, in terms of managing their finance. Now go to Alex Norris. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Thanks to HS2 and the work of the East Midlands Development Corporation, the outlook for the Nottingham economy